Okay, y'all, so I'm back home. Maybe I should put y'all, like, over here. Is that better? Is that better? Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. This boy is going even. Okay, y'all, so I'm back to the beauty spot store. So, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting my hair ready tomorrow. That means I gotta wash my hair tonight. I didn't even think about that. Do I have to wash it? I'm gonna ask her, like, do you want me to wash it? <laughs> or, you know, because I got my hair done like a week and a half ago. So, I mean, it's still, it ain't that dirty, you know? Anyway, I want to show y'all what I got from Bath and Bath Works. Ooh! <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> Okay. And y'all, this was over the span of, you know, y'all know they had, don't mind my nails, let me alone. They had their buy three, get three free. And then they had their, uh, they was $13.95, I think, for the three week. And then they want to come back and have the $9.99 or something. 
candles but at that point i was like you know what i'm tapped out <laughs> i should have just waited for the ten dollar three week but i was just so excited you know but this is gonna be real quick because i gotta show y'all how i make my chicken and holiday waffles y'all gonna see them but i wanted to show y'all my oh my god this bag ah ah it just smells so good. Oh my god. Okay. But pretty much, I got six of these. <laughs> so when I was having to buy three, get three free, I got three, I mean, six hand soaps, but I got all the same scent. Because, I mean, it's winter. I mean, it's going into winter. It's Christmas time. And this scent, baby, it's good all year. But around Christmas time, if y'all are not hip, can y'all see that? Merry Cookie. Oh my god, it smells just it's just literally it's like the best candle I've ever smelled. I love sweet smelling candles, vanilla, sugar cookie, frosting, cake, any type of candle like that. I love it. So my mama, I got the scent from my mama. She had a candle, one of these ever since I smelled that candle. This was a couple years ago. Back when I was living with her, and I smelled that candle, I've been hit and on it ever since. Hooked. Like I just can't get over it. So yes, I got six of these. Oh my god, it smells so good! Yo, I swear to God, I'm not being dramatic. Like it smells so good. And then I got this little plug in. I got one plug in, y'all. I actually have several around my apartment, but I got like the Febreze ones and other ones. But I have the Bath and Body one work. The Bath and Body one works. The Bath and Body works one in my kitchen and. I got some new scents for it. So this is the vanilla. Can you see that? It's vanilla bean. And this one is sugar snickerdoodle. Can you see that? The only reason I got these because they was $2.95. So I just grabbed two of each of these just to have. Because I still have some in my kitchen that are um, warm vanilla sugar. Y'all, I just love the sweetness. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my candles. I got, okay, I got six, I got eight candles, okay, y'all, they're all the same scent, I don't care, 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 I like the scent, okay, Ugh. like, I wish y'all could smell it through the camera, it smells so good, mmm, okay, so yeah, that's Merry Cookie, so I got four, of the smaller ones and I'm gonna show you I one of the big ones. Ooh, girl, I don't know what that was. Everybody had a little dust on it. Mm. You know my three week, I set them boys right here on my little counter. Or just somewhere where you want the room to really smell. And then I put the little ones like in the bedrooms or like in the bathrooms. And yes, I like my sweetness in the bathrooms too because why not? Okay, so yeah. That's what I got there big old sale. And honestly, when I went to go pick up my order, I really, like, I wish I would have really went into the store because, well, actually, I don't, but I do because they had a lot of uh, good scents in there, like, a lot of good other scents, like, new scents that are, like, sweet, too. But I'm just so hooked on a Merry Christmas. Like, I wasn't even interested in looking at no other scents. I just was really trying to stock up for the year, you know? <laughs> These should last me for a minute, but... I guess this is better. But yes, I'm about to make some chicken tenders instead of wings because I don't know. I just don't. I have whole wings. I mean, I could cook some whole wings, but I want to save them. So I'm going to just cut up a chicken breast and make some crispy chicken tenders. And then I'm going to make some holiday waffles. Ah! So I'm going to just show it to y'all. I'm going to just show it to y'all. So I'm really geek. Okay, so I originally went to, where'd I go? Marshall's. I went to Marshalls one day just looking around and I seen they had one of these but it was pink and it was ten dollars and I'm like okay I'm about to get this just because and then I got to the line and the line was ridiculous so I left it there because who bought the way in the line for this but they had these at Target and it wasn't pink but it'll do so let me show it to y'all so this is a mini waffle maker holiday edition clearly got the little candy canes on it I really wanted the pink one but I ain't gonna be you know so then you open it up. Can y'all see that? 
It got the snowflake. I'm really like, I swear to God, I was so geek about this. Like, it's so cute. And I've used it already, and they come out so cute. So, you know, you get your waffle on one side, and then you got your snowflake on the other side. Small, they really be giving like pancake, but you know, we're gonna call it chicken and waffles and make it do what it do. So, let me go ahead and unthaw this chicken, and I'm gonna get back to y'all when it's time to cook it. Alright y'all, so you know I had to do my little voice over to show y'all how I did it. But basically, if y'all haven't seen my prior videos, I use seasoned salt, lemon pepper, garlic powder, and I use pepper. Really, you don't have to use pepper if you're using lemon pepper, but I don't know, I like it peppery. So, and then I usually use Slap Your Mama, but I didn't have any, so I used that other seasoning that I just showed y'all. So, I had just got that garlic powder, so I was opening it <laughs> right here. But yes, heavy on the garlic powder, okay? I'm telling you, it makes that chicken. Mm, my chef's kiss. Telling y'all, just do it, okay? <clears throat> Oops, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, so this is me just seasoning the other side and rubbing it in. You want to make sure you press it into your meat, whether it's a beef or a chicken, because you want that flavor to stick. And this is me showing y'all. Yes, ma'am, that's some seasoned chicken right there, okay? And now you want to make sure you season your flour. It is so crucial, okay? Like, you don't have to overdo it. I honestly don't really be adding season salt or anything to my flour. I just put, like, a lemon pepper, the garlic powder, just to give it some flavor. You know, you want that flour to have some flavor. You don't want it to be plain. When you bite into that chicken, you want flavor through the whole bite. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. Get them nicely coated, nicely flour up, and then we're going to plop them in the grease. Alright, and I'm going to throw these in my deep fryer. Boom, boom, boom. It's only three, so I put them all in there together. If you have more than three, please do not overcrowd it. Because that will bring down the temperature of the grease. And then it's going to take your chicken longer to cook. And then it's not going to be as crispy. And yeah, it's just, it's a no-go. But here we go. This is the start of the show. So let me tell y'all the trick. Jiffy buttermilk pancake and waffle mix. My mama used to have a friend. Or I think they're still friends. But she had a friend that used to make us pancakes when we would go over there. And I tell you, they would be the best freaking pancakes I ever had. And I just always thought it was a special way she made them. But y'all, no. It was just this pancake mix. Because I'm telling y'all. Bussing. Every time. Okay. Yeah, y'all, pancake mix is busting. So, y'all want to get that Jiffy mix, I'm telling y'all, okay? And you want to thoroughly mix. You don't want no lumps, okay? And then just go ahead and fill it up. Not too much, because honestly, y'all, that first one I made was a little bit too much, because it started coming out the side a little bit. But it's okay. But, you know, try not to fill it up too much. Y'all see it came out the side a little bit. But it still came out so cute. Look at it. Ow. I swear, I don't know why this makes me, like, so excited. <laughs> and my son, he don't even really like waffles like that. And he, you know, I'm really making them for me. Like, you would think they're for my son. But y'all see how it went up a little bit? Like, them boys be making, like, you got to press it down to make sure that it's, like, fully cooked right how you like it. Because it be coming up. You know, there are many waffle makers, so. Okay, y'all. So, it's the final product. I'm talking about my tenders. I like them like that. A little, it's like, no, I did leave them in there a little too long. But they're still going to bust, okay? Don't get it confused, all right? But look at my snowflake waffles. Aren't they so cute? They're giving pancake, right? But then you flip it over and it's a waffle. So, yeah, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and eat this real quick. I just want to show y'all how cute they are. And I got this at Target, some mini waffle maker.